Hello everyone, this is Lorraine again with another Verbling class. This one is a um, vocabulary class and we're going to be looking at sounds. So we're going to look at vocabulary that we can use to describe the kinds of sounds that we hear. So if you have reservations, I believe you can enter the class right now. And uh, shortly, uh, other people who are viewing, uh, if they would like to uh, spend a ticket and come into class, it would be great to have you, and you'll learn lots about um, sound vocabulary. I will have um, a little audio clip that I'll play with different sounds, and we will find lots of interesting words to describe those sounds. So we're just waiting for people to join us here in the Hangout and we can get started. So, yeah. What kinds of sounds do you have around you every day? We hear all kinds of sounds. Some sounds we like, some sounds are terrible. In some countries, I think uh, there are louder sounds than other countries. Uh, I know that when I have been in Europe, in some of the cities, I find it very noisy. And also in South America, the cities are noisy because people use their car horns a lot, uh, much more than we use them here in Canada. I, I noticed that in Lima, when I was in Peru a couple of weeks ago, in Lima, the taxis... Uh, toot their horns when they are looking for a fare, when they're looking for somebody who wants to get a ride in a taxi. So they're always going doot, 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 even in the middle of the night. And I found that very hard to get used to. In Canada, um, where it's quieter in the cities, there is a lot of engine noise, but you don't hear the sound of car horns very often. So we're just waiting at this point for people to join us in the class. I know that there were some people who had reservations for this class, so I'm hoping that they'll join us very shortly. And anybody else who would like to take part in the class, it will uh, just be a ticket, spend a ticket on this class, and we can get going. So we're just uh, waiting for people to join. What is it like in your country? Is it a noisy place? Do you live in the country? Uh, do you live in the city? What kinds of noises do you hear if you live in the country? Sometimes in late summer in Canada, because I spend a lot of time in the country, I hear the sound of crickets. And crickets actually can make a lot of noise at night if you're trying to sleep. When you get thousands of crickets all making their little squeaky noises and it can be very, very noisy uh, at night when you're trying to sleep. So we have uh, Emma. Hi, Emma. I'm glad you followed me to this class. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, teacher. But this, this is an advanced class, right? I'm not sure I can catch it or not. Uh, I think you can. Um, I think your English is quite good. And we are just going to be learning vocabulary. Okay. So um, you should have no trouble with this class. Okay. It's, it says advanced, but I don't have a choice between intermediate and advanced because really it's an upper intermediate class. Oh, okay. okay. Because I just joined to bubbling uh, today, so... I'm a little bit afraid. <laughs> oh, don't be. You're doing very well. <laughs> Thank you. No, very good. Uh, I'm just hoping that um, in the next minute or so, we get um, a few more people to join the class. There we have Luis. Hello, Luis. Are you? Are you? Hi, Laura. Oh, there. I'm Hi. Back. I'm back. Good. I'm so happy you are. <laughs> I hope that Mauricio comes too. And yeah. And Amr and everybody, <laughs> come in, come in, yes. Yeah. Classes are more fun when there's lots of people. I like it better. But if 
we don't get somebody else in the next minute, we will start anyway. So, um, Emma, where are you from? I'm from Burma. Emma? Um, are from you? Burma. Oh, yes. really? I haven't had a I haven't had a student from Burma before. <laughs> So I'm the first You did say one. Burma, right? Yes? Yes, yes Burma. <laughs> well, <laughs> you may not be the first one on Verbling, but maybe just the first one that I've had. <laughs> oh, okay. So I sometimes when uh, we get the news in Canada and they are talking about Burma, they call it Myanmar? Yes, they Is change the name. Yes. Which name do you prefer? Um... I think I prefer Myanmar. Yes? Yes. Why? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, in our language, because before we, um, I, I'm not sure, because it, they call it Burma because of, from English. We oh, are yes. From English, and actually, um, in Burmese, we, we, we talk each other like Le Myanmar. So the pronunciation they okay. the Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Oh, wow. Wow. Interesting. I didn't know that. All right. So I think last and we won't get it all done. I do have a screen share. Also, um, if you did anybody download the worksheet that came with this? On yes, the I, Verbling page? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I've closed. Okay, if you could post that in the chat. Oh, you've got it too, Luis? Yeah. Okay, good. Because um, we have been having trouble with uh, sharing the screen. But I did make a slideshow of it. So, okay, good. Thanks, Luis. So let's get started. We have um, a list of sounds on the left hand side of the screen and where the sounds come from on the right hand side of the screen and we're going to try to match them up okay so Luis I'll start with you because you've done these before say number one and then tell me which what what thing makes this noise Horror. roar Roar. 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 Yes. Roar. Roar. Lion. Roar. Lion. 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 Exactly. Lion. Yes. A lion. And hello, Claudio. Um, Claudio, are you there? Hello. Hello, Lord Rainey. I am hello. Here. Good. Oh. Good. How are you? I'm good. Welcome to class. We're Thank just you. getting started, so uh, we're just matching up the sound with what makes the sound, okay? So, uh, Emma, number two, say the sound. Howl. Howl, yes. Howl. 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 What do you think makes a howl? Uh, car, car, car tires? Car tires. No, the car tires oh, no, don't no, howl. Howl. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, Claudio, do you have an idea what make what would make a howling sound? Howl. Um. Uh, I. <laughs> I have a. Uh, I've. I think that how is a kind of car tires. Oh, okay, maybe. yeah, that's that's what Emma thought too. But no, the car tires don't make a howling sound. This is what makes the howling sound. The wind Ooh. howls. Oh, yeah, wind wow. howls. Yeah. Alexandra, no. hello. Welcome to class. Hello. <laughs> I, I'm glad to see you again. Thank you. Um, okay. By the way, I have a chance to thank you for that photograph. So thank you very much. 
Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, so uh, let's see. Uh, Claudio, number three. Say the word, the sound, and then what do you think makes that sound? Screech. Screech. <laughs> it's a kind of bird. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there is a bird called a screech owl. But in this case, screech can screech. be made by many things, yes. Uh, ch church bells, of course, no, maybe. Um, I church don't bells know. Don't screech. A rain? A rain? No, the rain doesn't really screech. The screeching sound is screech! Or a <laughs> sound. Yeah, car tires. Car tires. Oh, car tires. Screech! Yeah. Oh. Okay, Alexandra, number four. Say the word, the, the sound. Chime? Chime, yes. And what makes a chiming sound? Chime, chime. Church bells? Yes, church bells, exactly. Good. Okay, Luis, number five. Fizz. Fizz. Yes. Fizz. 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 I think, think? Uh, a carbonate drink. Yeah, a carbonated drink. It goes fizz. Yeah. Good. Fizz. Very good. Hi, Jairo. Jairo, I'm sorry. How do you pronounce your name? Make sure that you're not on mute because I can't hear you. Okay. Uh, Claudio, can you do the next one, please? Number six. Um, sizzle. 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 Oh, rain. <laughs> no, rain doesn't exactly no, rain. sizzle. No. <laughs> sizzle. Zzz. It has the zzz sound in it. Sizzle. I steak. I steak. Yeah, I guess if it's not the rain, it's got to be the steak. <laughs> okay. Right. And that means, Emma, what is patter? What makes patter sound? Patter. It's got to be rain. It's got to be the rain. So it's a pattering of rain. That's kind of a patter sound. Okay. Does anybody have any questions about these? Okay. Hi, Ro. Are you there? Hello? Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hi. How do you pronounce your name? It's Jairo. Hydro. Okay. Welcome yeah. to class, Hydro. Nice Thank to have you. you. Good. Oh, and we have uh, Sarah too. Hi, Sarah. Welcome to class. Sarah, are you there? Make sure that you're not muted. Check the uh, microphone icon in the top right-hand corner of the page. If it's red, you're muted. So click on it and unmute yourself. Okay, so we're going to listen to six sounds now, and we're going to try and match the sounds to the sentence below. Okay, so if everybody would mute their microphones at this point, uh, then it will be a quiet um, classroom, and you will be able to hear these really well. Okay, you ready? Here we go. I think. One. Four. 
five. Six. Okay. So those were all of our sounds. Now some of them might have been a bit hard to hear. I'm going to turn it up a little bit more and we're going to go through the sounds one at a time. So I'll play the sound and then we'll try to decide which sentence belongs to that sound. Okay, you ready? Here's the first one. One. Okay, so let's see. Alexandra, which one do you think that first one belonged to? The car uh, made a piercing screech as the driver managed to break in time. Exactly, yes, good. Very good. Okay, so let's listen to the next one. Two. Three. Whoa, stop. Okay, that one was really hard to hear. Did anybody hear it? Um, this one is for Emma. The door opened with a creaky sound. Yes, we heard the doorbell. Did everybody hear the creaky noise when the door yeah. went? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. So that's a creaky noise. Good. Okay, so number three. Four. Okay, Claudio, which one do you think that was? Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I, I don't uh, heard. Uh, and, uh, she tries uh, to talk to me a lot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, listen to uh, that was Lewis. Yeah. Say Number it, Lewis. Number three, she tried Number to talk to me on Skype, but I couldn't only hear the muffed sound of her, her microphone. Okay, that word is muffled. 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 Yes, muffled. it's a muffled sound, so it's, it's not clear, it's kind of muffled. Muffled, thank mm -hmm. you. Good. Okay, the next one. <laughs> Five. Okay, so that was for Cairo. I think that the answer is the number four. The announcer voice was practical. Mm, I didn't hear anything in the way of an announcer announcer's voice. Number five. Then it's the number five. <laughs> yeah, I was standing right next to the speakers at the concert, and the sound was deafening, deafening, yeah, yeah. deafening. So, do you know what deaf means? No. Hearing, hearing. Loss. Okay, not hearing. Yeah, hearing yeah, loss. Yeah. I was deaf. Um, that means you cannot hear. So, when a sound is so loud that you can't hear anything else, that's deafening. Okay. Okay, the next one. This is for Lewis. Five. Number four. Yes. We couldn't really hear what the announcer was saying. So, yeah. Yeah. Good. Okay. And the last one, and this will be for Sarah. Are you there, Sarah? Sarah? Can you hear me? We can't hear you, unfortunately, Sarah. No. So, Sarah, if you want to write the number into the chat box, it went, if you hear this, it's going to be easy anyway because 
It is the last one. Six. <laughs> okay, so everybody knows what that was. Although, do you think that that was a roar? Did the, the lion actually make a roar sound? Uh -huh. Anybody? It didn't sound very roary to me. It sounded like a growl to me, not a roar. I do have, let me see if I can find it. Listen to this one. I think that was more of a roar. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay, good. Now, those words, we're going to um, find a definition for them. Okay, I'm going to get Alexandra. Could you read for me all of the words in green? Um, booming. Yes. Deafening. Mm -hmm. Piercing. Creaky. Muffled. And I guess inaudible. Inaudible, right. So in the sentences before, we had, whoops, I'm going to do that. We have those words. There's booming, piercing, uh, what was that? inaudible, deafening, creaky, muffled. and muffled. Yeah. Okay. So let's make the definitions. Uh, Emma, the first one. Um, mean booming, booming, booming. Very yeah. Hard. Um, extremely loud. Uh, yes, we have to fit it into these definitions here. Which one should I put it with? And think number three. Extremely loud. No, okay, no let's take a look. Boomy. Loud and deep. Loud and deep. Oh. Okay, so booming also has um, a deep sound. You can have something very loud, it can be extremely loud, and it can be very high pitched like way up here. But booming is low pitch, way down. Okay, so that's a booming sound. It's loud and deep. Does okay. that make sense? Okay. Good. What's the difference between raw and booming? So booming is loud and deep and raw. Okay, so these, uh, these words are um, uh, adjectives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the roar is a verb. Uh -huh. So a booming roar, booming is the adjective, roar is the verb, uh -huh. or an adverb then, yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, but the booming roar is deep and loud, but the roar itself, how does it sound when you said? I'm sorry, Alexandra, I couldn't hear your question quite right. Um, Jairo, you've got to mute your microphone because your background is very noisy. Okay. Thank you. Uh, okay. Can you hear me? Uh, yes. Uh -huh. What I was asking about is um, a booming roar, uh, I can't understand. It's loud and deep. But yes. what does roar itself mean? Roar? Um, it is the noise that a lion makes. It is also the noise that a very large waterfall makes. So it is a very loud noise. Uh -huh. Loud but okay. not deep. Loud but? Not deep. Um, well, with roar, you would need to um, put in a describing word. You could say, 
Um, the lion let out a deep roar, and that would let you know that the sound is very low and deep and loud, or a booming roar. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, let's see, Emma, you're next. Okay. Uh, piercing. Yes. Uh, very high pitch, loud and, and pleasant. Unpleasant, yes. Oops, I did it. How did I do these ones? Sometimes I don't do these very well, but you are correct. That one is right. <laughs> Piercing is number five. Good. Um, okay, Hiro, the next one, muffled. Muffled. Uh... I don't know. Is quiet and clear. That is correct. Yes. Very Quite right. Good. Uh, Luis, the next one. Well, the next one was inaudible, and it's done for you. <laughs> so, so do deafening instead. <laughs> deafening. Extremely loud. Yeah, that's the one. It's extremely loud. Yes. Okay, and we did that one, and we did that one. And so the last one has to be... Creak. Yes. Creak. Creaky. If a sound is creaky, it is a high-pitched sound caused by movement. So what kinds of things do you think would make a creaking sound? Jet. No, um, the, the jet, well, it could, but typically when we talk about creaky, it's, it has to do with wood most of the time. So Very the cool. door creaks. Okay. And a rocking chair can creak. That makes a creaking uh -huh. sound. Okay. Creak. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, animals. Let's see if we can match up the sounds with the animals. So these are similes. Similes are when we say roar like a lion. So you don't you're not actually a lion, but yeah. the noise you're making is like a lion roaring. Okay. Uh, so Sirac, I see you, but I yeah, I can't hear you. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Okay, so you're listening. That's great. Uh, we'll go to Alexandra, number two. What word should we put in there? What sound? Um, can you hear me? Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> because I think that sometimes there are there's something wrong with my mic. Okay. Like a bird. Maybe the squeak? No, 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 no. Uh, roll his bark, shirt, nay. Maybe nay? Mm, no, a nay is a nay, nay. <laughs> and then, well, you know, the, the words are trying to mimic what the sound is like. So a dog, of course, bark, 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 mm -hmm. right? And yeah. Maybe. So, go ahead. Chirp. Yeah, chirp, 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 chirp. 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 like a bird. Chirp. Yes, chirp. good. Chirp. <laughs> chirp. Okay, and Emma. Yes. What's like a dog. Bark. Bark. Yeah. Bark. 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 Good. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Jairo? 
Number four. I think that it is how? Make. How is a how? How? <laughs> <laughs> Now it's easy. Then what is the answer? Nay. 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 Oh, we're starting to sound like a uh, like a goat. Nay. Yeah, it's not a horse. <laughs> nay. nay. Okay, so nay is the is the right one. Okay. Uh, Luis, number yeah. five. Croak. Yeah, croak, 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 like a frog. Good. And Sirak, do you want to uh, write the word in the chat? <laughs> okay. I have no idea what you're saying, but <laughs> that's the language. <laughs> Let's try Alexandra. Number six. Yeah. <laughs> Duck, that, that's going to be uh, quack. Yep, quack, 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 quack. quack. Yeah, yeah, like quack. a duck. Good. Uh, Emma? Yes? What does the snake say? Snake? Hiss? Yeah, hiss. Hiss like a snake. Hiss. Hiss. Good. <laughs> I don't know if that's a rattlesnake, but <laughs> snakes do tend Talk to about. hiss. Good. All right, then. Um, Jairo, the next one, number eight. Howl. 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 Yes. Howl. Howl. Good. Howl. Uh, <laughs> Lewis, number nine. Pig. Hmm. Grunt. Yes, grunt. Although I would have also used the word squeal. 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 It's not there. Mm. But to no. me, you know, pigs kind of go ee, 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 with a kind of a squeal. But they do grunt too. They they hunt around the uh, the ground and they kind of go snuffle, snuffle, grunt, grunt, grunt. Grunt, so, grunt, grunt. <laughs> so there we have a grunting pig. Yeah. And uh, last, of course, Alexandra, we squeak. will have squeak. squeak. Yeah, squeak like a mouse. Okay, are there any words like these that are similar in your own language? Lewis? No. No, nothing like that? Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, in... yeah. Like a horse. Nay. Yeah. <laughs> Nay. Yeah, yeah. Um, in uh, Portuguese, what does a wolf do? Ooh. But what is the um, Portuguese word? Uivo. 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 Okay. Uivo. Interesting. Uivo. Yeah. Huh. Okay, good. Um, Jairo, is your language Spanish? Yeah. Okay. So in Spanish, what would a frog say? It's similar croc. Croc? Okay. Yeah. In Spanish, it's croc. Um, I don't know the, the word <laughs> in Spanish. <laughs> you don't know the word in Spanish. Yeah, so I don't remember. Really. <laughs> you probably learned that in kindergarten. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right then, um, Emma. Yes. Uh, what does a lion say in your language? Uh, roar. In, <laughs> in your language? Lions say wow. Wow? Yes. Wow. Okay. Well, that's good. That That's probably closer to what a lion says than in English. Okay. Um, Alexandra, what does a snake say in your language? What is your language? You're yeah. Russian? Um, actually, only we have only one word from this list. And uh, okay. in English, duck says quack. 
And in Russian, we talk about frogs, like makva. Okay. And uh, if it's name, we would say like shh. The word For the is, snake. Yeah, the word is shipit. So oh, okay. The sound is sh. But talking about the words itself, only frogs, like qua, qua, qua. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. All right, so Not let's continue. similar, so nothing else. Okay. All right. So we've got some definitions down here. And in each sentence, we have a word that is underlined. So we're going to read the sentence and then decide which definition suits the word that's underlined. Okay? So, Jairo, can you read sentence number one, please? Hopefully. Yeah. What's all the common tune about? Is there a celebrate in town? Okay, so this word is commotion. Commotion. Okay, commotion. Good. And this word is celebrity. Yeah, celebrity. Do you know what a celebrity is? Yes, it's an important person. Yeah, usually somebody famous. Okay, so what definition do you think suits commotion out of these? Commotion. Me? Yes. No. I don't know. No, I don't know. Okay. Would somebody like to help him? Yeah. Okay, Luis. What do you think? I think noise caused by people complaining about something angrily. Well, but it's a celebrity in town. It's oh. somebody famous in town. So, you know, Justin Bieber has come to town. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, no, everybody would then be shouting in anger, right? <laughs> uh, noise that shows praise and approval. Example, um, clapping. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I muted the teacher. <laughs> Why did somebody mute me? Yeah. Not me. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, so I think the answer will be B. B. A sudden short period of noise and confusion. confusion. Yes, all of a sudden somebody famous comes and the door opens to the limousine and the crowds, they're all cheering and pushing and big commotion. And then the celebrity runs into the building, and that's it. So that's a commotion. Okay. So, Luis, number two. The kids were making quite a racket with their new drum kit. Okay. A racket. A racket. I don't know. Would you mind helping me? <laughs> Anybody help in the class? A racket. Sometimes when people, their workmen are out in the street, it's 8 o'clock in the morning and you're trying to sleep and they've got a jackhammer and they're breaking up all the concrete in front of your house. They're making a racket. Noise caused by people complain about something. Oh, angry. that's complaining. No, but the guy isn't complaining. He's just uh, pounding the uh, cement into pieces, and he's making a racket. An unpleasant, loud, continuous noise. That's the one. It's an unpleasant, loud, continuous noise. Racket. Oh, uh, yeah. You're making a real racket. And, of course, the kids, when they have their drums, 
they're playing the drums and they're smashing on the cymbals and they're booming the big bass drum and they're hitting the snares. They're making a racket. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Alexandra, number three. The announcement that the government was going uh, to cut spending caused an uproar. That's disappointing. An uproar, yes. Mm -hmm. So which letter is that? Uh, show, uh, F. Uh, of disapproval. Uh, there's a better one. My God. <laughs> <laughs> Complaining about the yeah. D it's noise. Dead, yes. Noise caused by people complaining. Yeah. yeah. So that's an uproar. That's uproar. an uproar. There, everybody is yelling and complaining and shaking their fist and, you know, they're upset. The next that's an uproar. <laughs> okay. So the next one is for Emma. Okay. Can you hear the applause? He must have won the match already. Applause. Applause. Um, noise that show praise and approval. Yeah, I cannot yeah. see now. Uh, oh, okay. Yes, you were right. That's the one. Approval, for example, clapping. Yes, good. Very good. Uh, okay, Luis. Yes. Number five. His performance was terrible. He deserved all that booing, 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 boo, boo. <laughs> shouts of disapproval. Yeah, shouts of disapproval. Boo, hiss. <laughs> <laughs> boo, okay. okay. All right. Uh, Alexandra, number six. Couldn't hear a word because of the constant drone of the traffic outside. Okay. There's only one left. Which one is it? <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So it's a low, continuous, unchanging noise. All you okay. hear is the traffic going on outside. Drone. Drone. So that word, there are many uh, ways yeah. of using it. In this case, it is uh, an adjective, um, so it's a sound that's being made. Okay, it's a it's a sound. But a drone is also yeah. an unmanned aircraft. Yeah. So the United States uses many drones, and they are aircraft that do not have a pilot. They are. Um, Controlled from the ground. That's a drone as well. By iPhone. Yeah. <laughs> and other such equipment. Okay, so think about these Excuse words. Me. Okay, sorry, <laughs> Alexandra, yes? Would you please tell me um, commotion? Why, uh, why is it a confusion? Because confusion is uh, when you are. Mm. Like at a loss, you don't know. Mm. That is a different meaning for confusion. Confusion also just means disorganized. It's very disorganized. So mm -hmm. when you have a commotion, there is no um, organization in it. Different people are doing all different kinds of things. Some of them are clapping, some of them are whistling, some of them are pushing forward, some are trying to maybe get an autograph. So there's just this commotion going on. There's no rhyme or reason to it. And that mm -hmm. is considered confusion. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Parrot. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now you need to use these words in a sentence for an experience that you have had 
Okay, so is there has there ever been a time when you have been involved in some kind of commotion, for instance? So let's start with Lewis for that question. Pardon, teacher. Yes. The last sentence here is, describe an occasion when you heard or experienced each of the above noises. So we're talking about commotion. So commotion can happen when there's a celebrity in town and there's lots of people around. Maybe it's a, a football match or um, maybe it's a concert. But there's a commotion. There is noise and confusion all around you. So think about a time you have experienced that and tell us. When Alicia Keith went to Rocky Rio in the uh -huh. last month, okay. the public was very commotion. Okay, there was a lot of commotion. Yeah. Okay, so there was commotion. Not yeah. that it's very commotion. Okay, there was a lot of commotion. Good, okay, excellent, thank you. Okay, Haru, a racket. Have you ever been in a situation where somebody has been making a racket around you? Hiro, are you there? I'm doing the sentence. <laughs> okay. You know, I'm going to let you think of your sentence, and I'm going to ask Emma. She is going to think about a time when there has been an uproar in her life. Okay? So you have uproar, Emma. And Alexandra, you are going to uh, tell me about a time when you were disturbed by the constant drone of something. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Cairo, are you ready? Yeah. Um, the last night I was sleeping and some people was making a uh, very hard racket with um, I don't know what team are you, it. You can actually just leave it at that and English speakers will understand you. Last night I was trying to sleep but there were some people outside making a racket. Yeah. And then we will know that they were making a lot of noise and it was hard for you to sleep. They were making a yeah, racket. Yeah. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay, Emma? Uh, yes. What about an uproar? Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Alexandra, do you have a sentence for drone? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think I do. Okay, so we'll hear yours first and then we'll come back to Emma. Uh -huh. mm, my washing machine was very old. So when it worked, it constantly made a drone sound. Okay. Um, when you're talking about a drone, uh, you would say more like um, the droning of my washing machine drove me crazy. Uh-huh. Boy. Okay, rather Boy. than it made a droning sound. We don't tend to use it like that. We'd say, you know, it, it made a, 
a splashy sound or it made a squeaky noise, something like that. But when it's a drone, you usually say, sometimes it's a professor. You know those professors that make you so bored because when they speak, they just drone on in a monotone voice and they're so boring. That's also a drone. So it's just a constant noise. Okay, and what if I say the drone of the washing machine? Yes, the drone of the washing machine. Uh -huh. Yeah, you could say the drone of the washing machine put me to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> or it kept me awake. <laughs> But yes, that is the correct use of that word. The drone of the washing machine, the drone of the professor, um, the drone of the traffic. Okay, good. Emma, can yes. you think of anything for your uproar? Uh, yes. Uh, okay. People are uproaring about government shutdown. Okay. The people are in an uproar over the government shutdown. People are in an uproar. An uproar over the yes. government shutdown. Okay. Yes, perfect, very good. Okay, good job. All right, so we're going to just uh, do some speaking now and just talking about sound in our lives. I was just mentioning when I uh, introduced this topic earlier that uh, I found Lima, the city of Lima, Peru, was very noisy because it is common for taxi drivers to beep their horns when they're looking for people who want to take a taxi. And in Canada, it is, we don't do that. You hardly ever hear a car horn. So I think some nationalities are noisier than others. What do you think? Alexandra, what is your experience? Hmm. <clears throat> I've never thought about... <laughs> it's okay, good. <laughs> I've never thought about noise uh, being a characteristic of the nationality. <laughs> okay. So, I think uh, maybe it depends on your uh, bringing up. Okay. So, yeah. So if you are if you were brought up well, I mean, um, you know, also rules, etiquette, and so on, then you try not to be noisy. But if <laughs> they lack this knowledge. So sometimes they can be noisy, and uh, since they lack this knowledge, they may even not think that uh, this is um, not a very good thing. So for them, it can be a normal thing. Okay, interesting. <laughs> Great. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a, an interesting point of view. Emma, what about you? What do you think? Do you think some nationalities are just naturally noisier than others? <laughs> uh, I really don't know. <laughs> well, then the other way around to, to look at it, are some nationalities quieter than others? Do you think that some are more reserved and quiet than other nationalities? There's no right or wrong answer, it's just what you think. Maybe uh, Sweden, Swedish. Okay, do you think Sweden's, uh, Swedish people are quieter? Or noisier than um, Burmese. <laughs> <laughs> I think Burmese are uh, noisy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well that's interesting. Okay, great. Um, Hira, what do you think? 
Uh, yeah, about the first answer. Question? Yeah, the first question. Are some nationalities think, noisier? Yeah, I think that some nationalities are noisier because, for example, the Mexican people like I, <laughs> like me, um, uh, we like the parties and I don't oh, know. Yeah. We talk a lot and <laughs> yeah. Yeah, in the Mexico, the, I think. I was going to say in yeah. Mexico there is a lot of life. In Canada, we are so boring. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's too cold to go out half the time, so we don't tend to party much. <laughs> Well, I guess indoors. We have indoor parties, not not street parties, not outdoor. Yeah. Interesting. Good. Thank you. And uh, Luis, very quickly, yeah. what do you think? I think it depends on which culture you were yes. grown up. Uh -huh. uh, for example, in Brazil, we were influenced by Portuguese, Italian, and African culture. So we are very noisy people. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. And I guess Canada, we were settled by the British, and yeah. we're kind of uptight people. We're not very, very uh, not particularly noisy. <laughs> oh, that's great. Um, we don't have time for any more. Uh, hopefully, you learned a few uh, vocabulary words about how to describe some sounds, um, even if it's just the, what the animals say in English. And uh, I really enjoyed you guys in my class. Thank you so much for coming. And I will see you in another class. My next classes will be on Friday. So look them up and please join me anytime. Okay? Take care, Thank everybody. You. Thank okay, you. Bye-bye. See you. See you later. Bye-bye.